history if you couldn't make it to the masters but still want to eat like the pros we've got the perfect recipe just for you our very own augusta native margaret and carter shows us how the deep roots are making headlines with the simple salad the coveted green jacket salad is a staple in augusta it originated in the 70s at a restaurant across from the augusta national called the green jacket restaurant fitting right well, sadly, that restaurant shut down in the 90s, but while it was there, the who's who would always eat there. And they served their famous side salad, known as the Green Jacket Salad. It was usually made table side, and it was served with prime rib. Now, sadly, the restaurant is gone, but somehow the recipe made it out of the kitchen, and it's super easy, so I'm gonna show it to you today. So here's what you'll need. Iceberg lettuce, cherry tomatoes, green onions, fresh parsley, Parmesan cheese, and pita chips. And for your dressing, you'll need a half a cup of olive oil, one third cup red wine vinegar, one and a half teaspoons of Lari's seasoned salt, and one teaspoon of dried oregano. So we're gonna start with a head of iceberg lettuce. I've got it here, I've already got half of it chopped up, and then I have some romaine lettuce already chopped up. Those are the best times to use, in my opinion, for this, and it's what they use for it as well. And then we've got the tomatoes and what we're going to do is we are going to chop these up as well and cut them in halves like that next you're going to take your parsley and it's funny because they actually only ever used curly parsley um, because flat parsley was not really a thing back in the 70s 80s and 90s next take your pita chips and start crushing them up there then we're gonna get started on the salad dressing. You're gonna start with two thirds olive oil, pouring that in. Next, you're gonna go ahead and grab your red wine vinegar and you're gonna pour about one third red wine vinegar. That's gonna give it that amazing tangy taste that is so good in the salad. And then after that is probably my favorite part, the Lowry's seasoned salt. I like to measure with my heart on this one. Um, and then right after you do the oregano, the dried oregano, this dressing is so easy. It's just these four ingredients. I like to measure it out and then I put it in a mason jar and right when it's all in there, I give it a really good shake. And this is the final product with all of the ingredients. I also like to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese in there as well. And I'm gonna mix it all up once the dressing is in there and serve it up with really anything that you want. I did salmon with this, but you can do steak or chicken whatever your heart desires.